Jag heter Anders Dahlgren. Jag har köpt över 400 amerikanska bilar i 44 delstater. Från Los Angeles till New York. Just nu är jag i Maryland på väg till Henderson för en 66 Ford Thunderbird. Hi, uh, I'm Randy Easterling, and we are obviously in the United States in uh, a little town called Henderson, Maryland. Very small town. Uh, not many people know about Henderson. Um, anyway, we're about five miles away from the Delaware state line, so we kind of sit on the border of Maryland and Delaware. Right now we're standing uh, in my garage, or what we call man cave. We built a, uh, a dream 4,000 square foot building. and. 80% of it was supposed to be for cars, and then we wanted to do a little entertaining, so 70% went to cars, and then we wanted the pool table and the bar, so 60% went to cars. So at the end of the day, it's half cars, half entertainment, and right now we're in the car side. Yeah, well, my first car when I turned 16, actually when I was 15, I bought a 66 Mustang Coupe, six-cylinder car. and. Uh, I really liked that car and um, my second car was a Camaro and uh, as time went on in life uh, those cars didn't become that important anymore and I got into the modern cars, the newer cars and then as I went through my career and spent 25 years in my background in, my, in the grocery industry and when I came out of that I started having a passion to see the, the classic car market and that coming back around. I was very familiar with the Mustangs and started buying a few Mustangs and started playing with them and uh, kind of got back into it and I've been dabbling in it for about 15 years now. Um, hunting down cars, barn finds, uh, estate sales, auctions and uh, getting these cars and restoring some and resurrecting them and, and uh, you know getting them rebuilt and, and, and selling them and keeping some. We got in touch uh, through actually through eBay. Um, I do list a lot of cars on eBay, and uh, you you messaged me through eBay, and um, and uh, we made an offer on a '66 uh, Ford Thunderbird here. You made an offer actually, and uh, we came to terms on that. And uh, you asked if one of your stipulations was if I could store the car here in the garage until you came from out of the country and and uh, came to check the car out and introduced yourself and. Uh, and here we are today. Yeah, I think, like I said, when, when I was 16, um, again, that was 33 years ago, um, I, the craze wasn't there. I mean, you, you, could, you could get the Mustangs and the Camaros, the Chevelles and the convertibles for next to nothing. You know, they, were, they, weren't, they, had, they had no value. And it, you know, in, the, in the last 20 years, that has really turned around the muscle car area, the classic car area, and, and the values have really gone up. They're, they're in high demand, and they're in high demand all across the world now. You know, there's, there's a lot of cars that I have exported, you know, out of the United States. There's a big demand uh, international for these American cars now. With my experience, international cars, uh, a lot of mid-60 Mustangs, late-60 Mustangs, uh, a lot of convertibles. Um, uh, Camaros, uh, uh, Impalas, 
a lot of bigger cars. Um, I've also exported some four-door sedans, which uh, a lot of Americans over here don't have a big desire for, but have gone out, of, uh, have you know, turned into an international sale for me. It's nice to have a third-party inspector come over to uh, check the vehicles out so the customer knows exactly what they're getting and that they know that there's a real person at the end of the day on the other side of that transaction that they're sending their money to. Um, that's, that's definitely a sense of security there for a customer to um, buy a car. I remember when I first started, I sold, uh, I sold a boat to somebody here in the United States. And, um, and about two months later, I got a call from an, uh, an elderly gentleman and he was wondering where his boat was. And I, I, I said, what are you talking about? And he described the boat and I had, I had sold that boat. Um, I'd sold that boat two or three months prior and the new owner already had the boat. So he, uh, someone had stolen the pictures off the internet and made up a fake ad and, uh, and he got swindled out of $6,000 like that. It's just, you know, it, it, it is good to have someone, you know, to represent you and, you know, do a lot of legwork for you. So, you know, you want to be able to put, excuse me, ever be put in that position to lose that kind of money. Uh, we've got a 66 Thunderbird here with the 390. Um, it's vintage burgundy. It's a, it's a beautiful car. Um, it was a local car to me. Um, the uh, previous owner had this car about 15 years and uh, had it restored. Um, it's, it's a beautiful body style. It's, it's a highly desirable car. Um, it's got a vinyl top on it, uh, power windows, um, power seat, tilt away steering, and uh, just a good all around solid car. A great driver. Over here we've got a project car, a 1958 uh, Corvette convertible. And uh, next to it we've got a 66 uh, Mustang convertible with pony interior, 289 car. Over in the corner there's a 66 Impala convertible, which uh, that's being sold to a family over in, uh, in Texas here in the United States. That'll be shipped out probably this week. And we've got a few other ones outside. Over the years, uh, like I said, I've been in doing this for 14, 15 years. I've had probably anywhere from, I'm gonna guess 900 to 1,000 cars. And Mustangs have probably been about a third of that. And I've probably had two or 300 of those. So I'm, I'm familiar with the cars, the good spots, the bad spots, and familiar with what body styles that people want. Got the Thunderbird? Let's do it. Here so, she is. Uh, this is what I came for. This is it. Um, you say it's a local car? Yes, yes, this is a local car, garage kept car, and uh, a car that the older gentleman drove to shows and on nice days, just how the story goes with a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday. yeah. All yeah. right. And uh, it has all the options. Uh, Power windows, uh, power seats, power brakes, power steering, um, uh, power vent windows, and uh, the tilt. That's a cool piece. Yeah, and it's uh, got the tilt-away steering, which makes it makes it easier to uh, get in and out of the car for us bigger yeah. bigger guys. Yeah. It's got a beautiful interior. That's all the power. Yeah, power seats. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Power windows when the key's in. And uh, nice console with all the switches on there. What do you know about the uh, history and the, in terms of the restoration? And the... Again, it's an older restore. Um, it was probably restored, I'm thinking, about 15 years ago from what I was told. And uh, it still shows very well. Obviously, on, a, on, a, on an older restore, if, it, if they're kept in a nice environment, they're going to hold up. You know, you, you you put them outside and abuse them. They're gonna look they're gonna look that way. But um, again, this is an older restore. It's you know looking at the door jams and and uh, you can just tell that the car's been lightly used since then. Yeah. And uh, in your ad, you mentioned that you have they have the build sheet for it. Uh, yeah, I think I do got some original paperwork on it. Yeah, we can check that out later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
All right, so what I need to do is uh, to check out everything. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna look underneath and uh, mm -hmm. check the, all the electrical and uh, body, comb, sure. interior. I'm gonna check it out here inside first and uh, this is pretty nifty outside. I'm more comfortable inside in the garage. Absolutely, yeah. And when I'm done here, um, I like to take it for a little spin. It's a very cold day, but no snow, so I think we're good. The, the roads are clear, so let's take it out. Okay. So All right. Yeah. Pretty, huh? That's nice. <laughs>